Do you enjoy drawing or doodling in your free time? Have you ever wished you could make those creations come to life? Well, you're in luck. Hey everyone, I'm Sean Keegan, a developer advocate at Meta, and in this video, I'm going to introduce you to the animated drawings project from our fundamental AI research team. So let's jump right in and make some drawings come to life. Here's the homepage for the quick start version of the animated drawings project. Now for this video, I asked my six-year-old niece Amelia, who absolutely loves art and is shown here, to draw two pictures for me, one of me and one of her. So let's get these cartoon avatars dancing. From here, I'm going to click get started, then upload your photo. I'm gonna go with the one of me. This is the original drawing. In a few quick steps, we'll have it ready for animation. Here, I'll agree to letting the drawing be used to improve the tool. Now we have to crop the image to just contain the character. This is good to go, so I'll click next. On this step, we have to separate the character from the background. Because the arms are connected to the legs in the original drawing, I'm going to use the eraser tool to manually create a gap there. Click next when we're good. Lastly, just make sure the joints are in the right spot. This is good to go, so click next to see it animated. And voila, I have a running Sean drawing. From here, I can select any of the fun motions to see my character jump, dance, or even do the dab. And it's easy to share it with the world. Click the share button to download a video or quickly share it to your social media. As you can see, the web-based interface is a really easy way to get started with the animated drawings project. But what if you want to take things to the next level? Good news is the project provides a more advanced implementation that gives you even more control and more customization options. So let's take a closer look at how you can use the command line interface in a virtual environment to really dive deep on the possibilities of animated drawings. Here's the GitHub repo for this project. So after setting up your environment, there are quite a few commands you can run right away to generate some cool animations. I think the cool part is when you add your own drawings. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip down to that section. Now again, there's a little more setup here, but once that's all ready to go, with just one command, all of the analyzing and detection needed to animate your drawing is more or less done. So let's go ahead and enter that command into our command line, and this will give us our first drawing. Now I've already done this same process for the drawing of Amelia, but this is what it looks like to do it for your own drawing. Great, now that that's done, we should have a video of our first animation. It's right here, and it saves by default as video.gif. And there we go. So that's cool. But the power of using this part of the project is that we can really make it a party and have me and Amelia dancing in the same animation. So by uploading your own drawings and then changing a few configs, you can do some really neat stuff. In this case, let's take a look at the multiple characters example file. And you can see that I changed a few things. I've just changed the file paths to match where the drawings of both Amelia and myself are and changed the name to something that is a little more fitting. So let's go back to the readme. We're going to copy the commands, open up our terminal, start a Python interpreter, and then paste the commands from the readme. Now, once this is done, it should automatically create a video of the exact things that I specified. Okay. And we open up Finder. And we can see that we do. We have this GIF of me and Amelia dancing. So even though we're miles apart, just like that, we have a GIF of us animated dancing together. Lastly, let's spice up our background. So again, we can upload our own custom photo and by changing a few configs, in this case, in the background example file, we can customize our own background. So here I've uploaded this under the C background. I've changed the character to be Amelia. And instead of the default dab, I have her jumping. So we're going to, again, go back to the readme, copy the commands, open up the terminal where we have our Python interpreter already running, paste the commands as is. And as soon as that's done, we should have another video of Amelia jumping under the sea. And there we go. There she is. Now, these are just a few examples of pre-configured options that you can try out. Be sure to take a look at the GitHub repository for even more exciting possibilities. And there you have it. That's a quick introduction to the Animated Drawings Project. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced developer, this library makes it easy to create amazing animated drawings. So why not give it a try? And if you're interested in a peer-reviewed explanation of what the code is doing and why, check out the technical paper linked in the description below. And thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the Meta Open Source channel for more great content. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. See you next time.